Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Easley save and as you can see we've been doing very very well. 17 games into the season so we're a big chunk of the way through already um, but before we jump into it and I explain kind of what's happened and how we're doing uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But today we're taking on top of the league Reading uh, so it'll be a tough challenge but with 26 points, 17 games played, sitting in ninth. Um, we're we're just four points off the playoffs, so we're doing very very well. We're still paying our players the least amount in the league. Um, there are a few things I need to update you on though with regards to transfers. So um, one of those transfers will let's let's just make sure I've got this all up correctly for you. So we've make sure we've got all that. So. Duh, 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 duh. Here we go. Um, one of those transfers would be Mark Tyne. He has officially left us, joining Brighton, for a very small fee um, because of his his contracts. Uh, unfortunately, he had a release clause, which I couldn't get rid of. I, and that's part of the issue. We're, we're, we're not able to get rid of the release clauses in these players' contracts. So we're, we're kind of having to let them go if they get reached. Um, we have got him back on loan, which is good. They've allowed us to keep hold of him, just like uh, we have with Stepe. So that's that's quite nice of them <laughs> to allow us to keep hold of our players. We've got a few more players out on loan as well. But we have also brought in Sergio Zapata, um, the Uruguayan from Nacional, who we've had a, got a few players off of previously. Um, a nice little centre midfielder, deep line playmaker, good, on, good passing technique, first touch. Uh, and some good bravery, vision, and teamwork as well. So I think he's a player that can really develop into something quite nice. Hopefully we can get a bit of money for him if he does end up going anywhere. Uh, and our other one was Thomas Hill, who I th is probably one of our better players now, um, in performances anyway. He's um, a kind of that ball-winning midfielder role that we, we needed, and he can also play almost anywhere else on the pitch. So he's very versatile. He is one of our highest-paid players, so that's something to keep keep in mind but uh, I think pretty much worth it when we look at at the team running and how we've got on you can see we've had a good few runs with the team um, some improvement we had a big blip at the beginning of the season uh, and that led to a tactical change which has changed our fortunes completely now the tactical change is a 4-2-3-1 gig and press yes I know it we're going back old school but it's working, and I don't want to mess with it too much. The other option we have also got is this 5-2-2-1 or 5-4-1 formation, counter-attack, which worked brilliantly against Bournemouth, nullifying them completely. So what we're actually going to do today is play with the 5-2-2-1 or 5-4-1 counter-attack. If at some point we go down, that's when we change it up to the, the other other way of playing so um with that what we can do uh is we can put mark tyne up right back but what we will in fact do is put thomas hill there we'll pop liang kang in the box of box role who has actually been doing pretty well for us i have to say his teamwork and work rate have been brilliant um and he slots in there quite nicely uh with carlin grant up top who's also been banging in a few goals as well he's getting into it uh mendy and stepe as well We've got quite a good side, really, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, there are a few players that we maybe need to kind of talk to and see what they want to do with regards to loans and stuff. Because we're a little bit limited as to their game time. But otherwise, I'm very happy with how we've got on. We've um, absolutely been smashing things so far. Uh, and so we'll jump straight into the game now. See how we can get on at Red against Reading. We are away from home. It's a little bit of a derby because they're not too far up the road. Um, but it will be will be a challenge. Danny Rios um, has been playing in goal for us quite a lot uh, as of late. Um, because Okonkwo had a bit of a mare at the start of the season. So we have brought in Rios. Okonkwo's wanting to get back into the team. So I am giving him game time to allow him to prove himself again effectively. Um, but yeah, it's it's... It'll be interesting to see how we develop. Um, obviously, our, our left wing back is much more influential um, than our right back. So that's why they're given a bit more freedom down that side. And a mole's on that wide centre back to kind of cover that area um, if needed. So that's kind of how we play with this formation. Um, it's all about winning that ball and kind of giving it to Stepe, Mendy or Grant 
to go forward. Um, and it looks like it's somewhat working. 16 minutes in, Elliot with a ball in to the back post. Goals, head's clear. I have no idea where Amol's running off to. I mean, do you fancy coming back and <laughs> helping out? Because... I have no idea what that was. Um, Ramsey, though, bombing forward down the right-hand side. Cuts it back to Offerboth. Offerboar, I should say. And Mole manages to come across and win the challenge, but it is still Reading on the ball. Kilman into Offerboar. Again, off, 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 off a Bora? Off a Bora, maybe? I don't know. Salcedo in goal, though. McIntyre. I can say those names. And bait. Offerboar. 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 I'm just going to stop saying his name because I'm not going to get it right, am I? Kilman into Ramsey. They're keeping the ball really nicely here. Um, the ball's been played through to Mara. Can he score? He does. Slots it in to the bottom right-hand corner. 17th goal of the season. He's one of the top goal scorers, if not the top goal scorer this season. So it's going to be a bit tough to, to stop him from scoring, that's for sure. Um, we've been doing okay. I, I, I'm... They, that's their first shot on target, which is a bit annoying. We've had a shot on target, though, which is good. Um, can we react and maybe look for a counter now? It's a, ball, a long ball forward. I mean, we're not getting anywhere near that. Maybe I should look to change things up straight away, which I think we might do um, 20 minutes in. It's kind of like if we can hold on, we can often hold on. Like, it's, it's pretty... I'm pretty confident about that, but... Uh, it's not looking too lightly. So we will just switch things around a little bit to make sure it works. Although we have just conceded a penalty, which isn't great at all. Um, not a great way to uh, to kick off the change in formation. I mean, Rios went the right way, but in the end, nowhere near it. And Bate, Lewis Bate scores his second goal of the season from the spot. Uh, 20 minutes in and we're 2-0 down. Not great. Let's see if this change in formation, this 4-2-3-1, can... Um, get us back in the game uh, and, and can cause them a bit more problems. Uh, Sutherland can easily play that fullback role because, again, he'll be just sitting rather than pushing on too much. He'll support, but not um, on the overlap like for a Beck. Uh, otherwise, we've got Hill covering that for a Beck's role. But it's it's Reading that come forward again nine minutes later after they previously scored goals. Ball into the box. It's header by Ramsey and we are just nowhere near it, are we? We are not on the ball today. It probably wasn't the best one to be showing you, really, because we had a lot of better games and we're we're getting battered by Reading. Um, oh dear, this is this is. I thought this was going to be a very positive video. Us sitting in ninth is very nice. I mean, at the moment we've not gone down in the league, so that's quite good. But again, Reading coming forward. Um, really not far up on, oh, wow, oh, dear, that is Rabex, not even anywhere near him, I don't even know what, what he, what was meant to happen there, the ball gets crossed in, Giles throws into Villalba, then baits there, into Villalba again, who's ball in, I mean, it's Rabek, you've just let him run off you, and it is poor, it, it very very poor um that you can't blame that on being a wing back on attack that's for sure you're not out of position in that sense you're just out of position because you haven't marked him four nil though at, as we come towards half time can we get a goal back in this just before half time that'd be nice ben elliot with the ball in step in with the header it's over the bar okay yeah it's not gonna happen is it um it's not been a good half let's say that <laughs> That's for sure. Um, yeah, we might have to make some changes just because the boys are having an absolute mare on the pitch. It's not going too well. So we have made three changes. Uh, we've completely changed the sides. Uh, Connolly, um, Tyne, and we've got brought on Arango. Um, oh, and it nearly paid off straight away. Tyne with the header. It's just hit the far post, but that's a much better start to the second half um very positive but yeah we've um we've changed things up we've we've brought uh brought a few players off brought a few players on hopefully that can just refresh things i have seen it do that before where we've we've had a few players who've been poor we're not playing great but just change making kind of a drastic change of three players on three players off 
completely changes the side because those new players are just they've got 45 minutes to make something happen uh and that seems like is what's happening now i mean grant's shot is awful um Connolly's come on as that ball winner with hill going into the box to box so he'll be getting a bit further forward but that is an awful awful shot by grant but we, we need shots if you don't take a shot you're never going to score so well i'll let him off for that one <laughs> Let's just say that. But again, Reading looking to keep the ball very well. Kilman into Offerbore. And then it's switched out right to Mackie, um, who's coming down this side. We're not, we've not reacted well to there. Mara, a mole. What? I mean, that just shows his pace to get in front of Mara there to win that. Connolly into Vrabic. Connolly. Oh, what are you doing? I mean, there's keeping the ball. And then there's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> he, sh he could see him. Could you not see that that was not a good pass to make? Maybe, maybe he couldn't, maybe not. But um, 30 minutes to go. I mean, the second half has been 100 times better. So it it just shows that sometimes it is literally just the players um, who need to be changed around rather than any sort of formation or anything. But it's still not great. 4-0 isn't a great result if it does even end up like this. Uh, but... Still sitting in ninth, still three points off Cardiff who are in seventh, and then another three off Bournemouth. So there are there's a lot to work on and a lot to still fight for, but I think we can do it. I think there's there's no reason with the kind of way we're playing now for us to not be able to kind of get a goal. Get, I mean, get playoffs, but Elliot's just scored. I mean, what a lovely goal that was. That's the the ball over the top by Vrabic, who's, I say, made up for. I mean, I think he was at fault for two of the goals, or at least one. Um, Vrabic with the ball over, and Elliot's through on goal, takes it past the keeper, slots it home. But there you go. That just shows we can score. <laughs> we can score. We can do it. Um, it's a lot better. It, I think I, I, I am hoping to get closer and closer to those playoffs. Uh, and if this season goes as well as I'm hoping it is, and we get closer and closer. You might be getting a few more um, videos at the end of the season where, fingers crossed, we might be fighting for that playoff space. If not, we've still got years to go. We, we, we There's no necessarily rush to to get that promotion. Um, it just, it, but it's, it's great to have that improvement still. It, it's, it gives you that hope that something might happen at some point. So, Tyne shoots from range. What a strike. Mark Tyne. Um, you can see why Brighton want him. Wanted him, I should say, because they've got him. Uh, and Mark Tyne scored to make it 4-2. I mean, we've got two minutes left. We could... Shall I... I'll change it on to attack him. Let's, let's get boys forward. Let's try and make something happen here. Because we're... Um, we're getting closer to being back in it. It could happen. Uh, not likely now that we've only got a few minutes left. But it's closer and closer. I mean, it's weird that the Majeski is now called Select Car Leasing Stadium. Uh, I don't, I'd have, that must be the real life name, but yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Let me know, Reading fans, if you're out there, what you think of that, because I wouldn't be too happy, um, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but there you go. It's not exactly the prettiest of names. Um, sitting in ninth, we're doing okay. We're, it was a 4-2 loss, but we won the second half 2-0. So that kind of shows you that we've got that um, that ability to score. Uh, Blackburn are just above us in the league. Looks like we've got improvements to youth facilities, which I've asked for. As I mentioned, that's exactly the sort of thing I want to be doing. So that's two million that's been spent there. Um, so that's great. That means that we've got improved club facilities and all that stuff. You can see here, junior coaching is right up there. Exceptional academy coaching, which is great. Youth recruitment, I'm still trying to work on. They're not overly excited about doing that. Fairly good youth facilities and average training facilities. Um, so we're, we're working on it. We're still predicted to come 24th. So, I mean, we're well above expectations. Um, otherwise, I'm I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Like I say, it's, it's a case that even though we lost that one, it kind of gives us that bit of hope going forward um we'll probably come back after january i'll show you if there's any further any transfers we make it's not likely necessarily because 
we've we've got 326,000. So um, something I should show you is a couple of the players that will be coming in and joining us later on. So in January, uh, we've got the likes of Na Daniel Nadolny, um, who's already played eight times for Poland uh, and the left back. Pretty decent looking, um, that's for sure. Uh, then we've also got Boniek uh, from Fluminense, uh, inverted winger on the right-hand side. He's joining us as well in January, 18 years old. Looks pretty decent, so hopefully we can make something with that. And Mauricio Garcia is joining us in like two years' time or a year and a month's time. So in 2030, uh, he's an attacking midfielder. Looks quite nice. First touch, passing, technique, vision. Um, they're all very, very nice. He's not the best in the air or anything like that, but he would certainly be a decent attacking midfielder, which I hope could um, develop quite nicely. But there you go. Um, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it there. We've got Blackburn up next, which hopefully we can get a nice win and, and close that three-point gap we've got with them. Close that down. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And of course, I will catch you in the next one. See you then.